So why does he need a national civilian security force? And oh, by the way, have any of you read the health care legislation? Don't worry about it. Nobody in Washington has either. Populations. Ladies and gentlemen, we are moving to Marxism. And I'm just going back to my main thing, which is wake up. This can take over America. You say it can't happen here. It can't happen here. Ladies and gentlemen, look at Europe. If you think it cannot happen in America, look at Europe. All the experts will tell you that by the middle of this century, Europe will be an Islamic continent. So, Sharia law, a Muslim brotherhood. You see, when I came in the army in 1970, at the height of the Cold War, we thought nothing could ever threaten us the way the Soviet Union did because they had an arsenal that could destroy us and we had one that could destroy them and we called it Mutual Assured Destruction, MAD. And that's exactly what it was, it was MAD. It was just MAD. That they're going to dominate America and Islam will be the religion of America. And that we will all be subjected to Sharia law. Let me tell you something. What they want to do is destroy this Constitution and replace it with Sharia law. That is their stated intent. Destroy the American Constitution that was written in 1787 and replace it with Sharia law. He supported Sharia law, which is the fundamental tenet of Islam. These people are serious about what they're doing. We found in Annandale, Virginia, a five-phase plan in a false basement that was hidden there. And we found it, the FBI found it. They are in the latter part, at least the latter part of phase three of the takeover of America. You do not is protected by the First Amendment and the rights of most Americans. I personally do not feel that way. I believe that every Muslim that believes that Islam is just a religion must be allowed to worship. The problem is what Frank said, those that live under the dictates of the Quran and the Hadith, and it will tell you if you read that book what's going on in America from their own words, from their own plans, from what they are saying they intend to do. Don't say it can't happen in America. Ladies and gentlemen, it is happening in America. And it is time for Americans to wake up, get up, and get involved in what is going on in our country. This needs to be in the lead. You people of faith, you need to rise up. themselves and pray and turn from their wicked ways. Then will I hear from heaven and forgive their sins and heal their land. The most important thing that we have to do as Americans, as Christians, is pray for this country. Get on your faces and pray.
course, the battle I have been fighting for years, the battle that was referred to by Mike and others is the battle that I, I thoroughly enjoy and I, and I believe with all my heart is one of the most important battles we can all join into, and that is a discussion of and a debate upon who we are as a nation. Immigration is only one tiny part of that big thing. I happened to get involved in it because it led, and when I did, it led to more and more of my interest and, and concern about this one question. Who are we? Dead. And I go, to, I mean, all that kind of thing, that kind of diversity, no problem, okay, fine. But I'm talking about a much more serious problem. When in the United States of America, because we do have so much diversity, something that we have in common, because we have so much that differentiates us one from another. And that one thing should first of all be a language. What do you think about America? First, then finally, a little kid, one kid, you know, sheepishly, like this, and I've been a teacher, I know this look in their eye, it's like, oh God, will he call on them? Oh God, <laughs> they want him to. And the reason why they didn't want to is because I don't think that they all hated America. I just think they were completely and entirely, intellectually unable to affirm the proposition that it's a good place. And at that time, the Russian forces stormed the place, and everybody started running, and people were being killed all over the place. And, and there was a guy standing there in a Russian military uniform. And he was calling everybody over, come here, the kids, get over here, get away. And all the kids and all the parents and everybody else fled. And there's smoke still coming up out of the ruins of this place. And body parts on the wall, blood everywhere. People was dead silent. And I got there and I opened this thing up. And he's saying, I will not secure the border. And I will tell you, not only do I believe with all my heart, that all of the external threats to the United States pale in comparison to the threat that Barack Obama poses to us. We can fight all these outside enemies. We're having to fight our own president. And I will tell you that that statement he made, not being willing to secure our borders under the kind of threats that exist to us today, that is not just to show you that he's a threat to our way of life, to everything we believe in. I believe that's an impeachable offense. And it's not just because of that, it's just because of all of the things that we know to be true about this guy. He does not like America. He is going to change it. He's going, he's devoted to changing it. I am devoted to stopping him from changing it.